Hey gang, it's JC, and this is the Daily Dose for Tuesday, October 11th, 2011, a combined venture with Mind Active in beautiful downtown Brentwood. Great television archives, top of the page. We have our eye candy feature along the bottom and our rock and roll poll question, and we'll talk about the Cardinals and a special appearance by JC on television tonight. We'll get to all that here in just a couple of seconds. Rock and roll poll question yesterday, what do you think of the Occupy St. Louis and Occupy Wall Street demonstrations. This thing swung back and forth like crazy yesterday in terms of your responses, and we had a virtual tie for our number one and number two answers. With 39%, good message, bad messengers, this isn't the way to bring about change. That's at 39%. At 38%, I support them completely. We're all getting screwed by Wall Street and big corporations. Only 24% of you said they're a bunch of greasy, dirty punks with a fundamentally dopey message. That was our tribute to... Newt Gingrich on Face the Nation on Sunday morning. All right. Blues had a day game yesterday, and I think we had a lot larger audience on the Big 550 KTRS where Trish Gazelle and I are every day. And you can follow me on Twitter, by the way. Well, I nearly doubled my Twitter account followers yesterday. Yesterday was my very first Twitter. We started out at like 86 people. We have like 150 now. So spread the word. If you want to follow me on Twitter, it's STLJC Corcoran. STLJC Corcoran. That's my Twitter thing. Follow that. I tweet stuff all the time now and it's going to be a lot of fun. We just doubled in one day. So that's pretty cool. So get the word out. But the um, thing about it is we had a Blues game during the day yesterday and it's my contention that if you're not at the Blues game or watching it on TV, that's pretty much it. There might be a couple of guys trapped in cars or something like that who might listen to a little bit. So our question today is how often do you listen to a Blues game on the radio? You know, it's not 1969 anymore. All the games are on TV, and I know you can't always be in front of your TV, but I think the diehard Blues fans do it. So I, it's my contention that there are very, very few people listening to the Blues on radio. That's not a knock against the Blues or Curbs or anybody like that, but I just don't think there's a huge audience out there. Let's see what you guys say. Maybe I'm wrong. How often do you listen to a Blues game on the radio? All the time? Not very often or almost never? Please answer in the corner. We'll have results for you tomorrow here on the Daily Dose and on the Big 550 KTRS. So, Niger Morgan, how did that center field wall taste last night? Oh my gosh. The only thing spooky about the whole thing is that if you watch the pregame show, Tony La Russa said, I'm telling you right now, Albert's going to have a breakout night tonight. Just watch him. And the son of a gun goes out there and does exactly what Tony said was going to happen. Uh, for people who are watching all over the country, now they know. If there's any doubt, if there's any doubt at all, man takes a half swing and the thing bounces off the wall. Um, I wonder, though, if that's a, uh, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking that all the general managers and all the team owners all over the country are watching that. Did that just make Albert's marketability go up at the end of the season in terms of free agency? Got to take the bad with the good. Uh, let's just enjoy it for right now. Cardinals will have a workout this afternoon from 3.30 until 6. Tony La Russa and Chris Carpenter will be speaking to the media. I will be there and we'll let you know sort of behind the scenes what's going on around there. Now also with that in mind, um, I started doing those I'm Just Sayings on News Channel 5 at 10 o'clock recently, um, and I got a pretty good hunch that the one you're going to see tonight featuring me will be the best one ever done, okay? I want to repeat that. I got an I'm Just Saying, getting ready to go down there and record right now. It's uh, directed at Niger Morgan and the Milwaukee Brewers and their organization, and especially if you're a Cardinal baseball fan, this could be the best I'm Just Saying ever made, all right? I got the script right here. If they let me say what I want to say, this is going to be great. So tonight at 10 o'clock on News Channel 5, there's no ball game on tonight, so if you're able to watch it, then we'll get ready for Game 3 of the Cardinals coming back. So again, watch that. Uh, got some calls and emails and Facebook messages and stuff yesterday. Yes, indeed, that was my daughter on Show Me St. Louis yesterday that uh, comes out at 1230 in the afternoon on Channel 5. Uh, my daughter uh, does some uh, volunteer work for the Danforth P uh, Plant Center up there at uh, Warson and Olive, and she was on television yesterday, and sure enough, Whitney Corcoran was on. It was sort of a weird day. It was like uh, acid flashback day because my daughter was on TV, and then a gal I dated way, way back in the day, back in 1985, Ann Thompson, was all over the TV last night and this morning on the Today Show and on NBC News. And then a gal that I used to date is one of the city council members in town and country where they're going to start popping those deers, just picking those deer off. 
So it was uh, one of those weird days where every time I looked at the TV, there was somebody on that I had some sort of uh, some sort of relationship with. So anyhow, like I said, follow us on Twitter, STLJC Corcoran, and we'll see what comes out of all that. Paul McCartney got married, so he's going to want to spend as much time as possible at home with his new bride, right? No, he's going on tour. It's pretty hilarious. Terrell Owens, who is uh, not currently with the NFL right now as a free agent, a couple of years ago, he OD'd on some prescription pills. People indicated that, uh, or at least insinuated that uh, it was a suicide attempt, and he denied it. Well, it just happened again. Okay, over the weekend, again, prescription pills. Something's going on with that boy. What happens when you mix Geraldo Rivera with Occupy Wall Street protesters? You get people chanting and booing and yelling Fox News lies. I think they pretty much got that right. Uh, if you saw Bill Maher over the weekend, you know what I'm talking about here because uh, Hank Williams Jr., he's blasting everybody. He's blasting Fox News. He's blasting ESPN. He's blasting the president. He's bla blasting everybody. This is the guy. You know, when was the last time anybody compared anything or anybody to the Nazis or to Hitler and it, and it sort of turned out good? I mean, ask yourself that question. Because people do that all the time and it seems to always end up in a resignation or, or a major scandal or something like that. When was the last time anybody actually compared Hitler or the Nazis to anybody and it actually turned out okay? Maybe Glenn Beck, as Louis Black, the comedian, said, Glenn Beck has Nazi Tourette's, um, but, it, but he's just crazy, so nobody really pays any attention to him. Um, Hank Williams Jr. Uh, has a new single which blasts everybody, but I want to go back to this uh, song he did called If the South Would Have Won. If the South Would Have Won, we would have had it made. It would probably run for president in all the southern states. The day Elvis passed away would be our national holiday. If the South Would Have Won, we would have had it made. Okay, That almost rhymes. But here's the part that cracks me up. The National Treasury would be in Tupelo, Mississippi. I'd put Hank Williams' picture on the $100 bill. I'd have all the cars made in, Cal in the Carolinas, and I'd ban all the ones made in China. China. Because, you know, if I've said it once, I've said it a hundred times. If I run into one more Chinese car on Sunday, how about this 27-year-old woman who runs the Chicago Marathon and goes into labor and then has a baby after she runs the thing? National Pet Peeve Week, the dating site Zoosk asked people what their biggest dating pet peeves were. For men, the biggest complaint is a date who pays too much attention to her cell phone. For women, it's dates who smell. What exactly do you mean by that? Uh, women also don't like, a lot of, <laughs> don't like a lot of body hair. And men complain about inappropriate clothes and crooked teeth. New study has found that women really will ignore what a guy looks like as long as he has the money. Uh, an economist at Columbia Uni University found that when a man's body mass increases 10%, his salary needs to go up 2% for him to still be dating women at the same level. There's a similar effect for women. As they gain weight, they need more education to date guys at the same level. And am I glad I'm not out there anymore. According to a new survey by the adult store Adam and Eve, about 10% of people say they never want to have sex in the dark. They always want to be able to see everything. Naturally, they're in the minority. The survey found that 41% of people never want to have sex with the lights on. 48% prefer variety. Wax on, wax off, lights on, lights off. California has banned tanning beds for minors. Nobody under the age of 18, no matter what. We have 20 days until Halloween, 75 days till Christmas. And it was on this date in 1975 that a very funny comedian by the name of George Carlin appeared as the very first host of Saturday Night Live. Eric Mink is going to be on with us in the 1 o'clock hour today. We're going to spend a little time talking about Saturday Night Live because there are fascinating behind-the-scenes stories about SNL, about Billy Crystal, uh, why he ended up on the show not in 1975, but where he was scheduled, but not until the early 80s, and about uh, a famous late-night talk show host that was approached about being the permanent host of Saturday Night Live. So we'll get into all of that. All right, JC's eye candy today, as intense as Albert is on the field, he can be caught in some very silly poses and with some very strange facial expressions. We have chosen three, courtesy of Bill Greenblatt, UPI, United Press International. So three very odd, sort of funny-looking pictures of Albert, which you will enjoy. And uh, man, did he put out a show last night. He is the man. All right, uh, again, JC's Rock and Roll Poll today. 
How often do you listen to the Blues games on radio? Please answer in the corner, and we will have the results for you tomorrow. All right. Again, uh, follow me on Twitter, STLJC Corcoran, STLJC Corcoran on Twitter. And uh, tonight, on, I'm just saying at 10 o'clock on Channel 5 News. I, I'm, I'm heading down there right now to record this. Can't wait. In the meantime, that's it. JC's Daily Dose for Tuesday, October 11th, 2011, a combined venture with Mind Active in beautiful downtown Brentwood. In the meantime, we've beaten this one to death. Have a good one. See you later. Bye.